Hello everyone, Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware here to give you a quick look at the brand new Asus ZenBook 3 and Asus Zen Watch 3. Asus just launched a handful of brand new products at their Zenvolution event in New York City, but we've got these two in-house and want to give you some quick impressions. Let's take a look. All right, first up, here's a look at the Asus ZenWatch 3. So this guy's got a 1.39 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 400 by 400. That works out to a pixel density of about 287 pixels per inch. So this guy is made from jewelry grade 316L stainless steel, and it's about 9.95 millimeters thick. Let me pull it out and give you a quick tour. The ASUS ZenWatch 3 is going to be available in three different colors. This is the gunmetal variety here, but there will also be a rose gold version and a silver version. So inside the watch is a Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 2100 series processor, and it features quick charging technology too. You can pop this guy on its base and get a 60% charge in only 15 minutes. Now with that said, I've only had the watch a short time, so I don't know quite how long real world battery life is, but it should be pretty good. Now the watch is running Android Wear, so it should be familiar to anybody who's gotten their hands on any previous gen smartwatches that also use this OS. All right, so here is the new hotness. This is the Asus ZenBook 3, and before I open it up, I just wanna give you a quick glimpse at the lid. It has a blue anodized finish on this particular model, and along the edge, it has copper accents. Let me pop this guy up and show you how thin it is. So this baby is under two pounds, and it is only 11.9 millimeters thick. So truly a thin and light machine by every measure. Just quickly, I also wanted to flip it over and show you the bottom. So the bottom is mostly clean. There's a couple of feet here and some venting right here and right here. But other than that, not much to see. Asus will be offering two models of the ZenBook 3 initially. One will be based on a Core i7-7500U processor and the other based on a Core i5-7200U processor. Now that seven in the first digit there should let you know these are based on Intel's brand new KB Lake microarchitecture. If you'd like to learn more about KB Lake, be sure to come by hothardware.com. We've got a full architecture preview posted. So in addition, there will be either 8 or 16 gigabytes of RAM inside. They feature Intel HD Graphics 620 series GPUs. Those are integrated into the processor. They'll also offer fast NVMe solid state drives and built-in 802.11ac 2x2 MIMO Wi-Fi. The ZenBook 3 has a 16 by 9 aspect, 12 and a half inch LED backlit display with a native resolution of 1920 by 1080. Now this display offers 72% of the NTSC color gamut and only has 7.6 millimeter bezels on either side. They're a little thicker top and bottom. There is a webcam here right at the top. You probably can't see that on video. Now brightness, Saturation, contrast are all very good. The viewing angles are exceptionally good, but the screen is non-touch, so that's something you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind. If we slide down to the deck area, although it's really clean, there's a lot to see on the ZenBook 3. So first things first, Asus used every possible millimeter for this keyboard. You know, although the ZenBook 3 is really small with only a 12 and a half inch screen, the keyboard isn't. I had no trouble typing on this guy because the keys are a good size. Now, because the machine is so thin, there's not a ton of travel, but that's something you get used to fairly quickly. I should also mention the keys are backlit. You can adjust it using the function keys right here. Probably doesn't show well on video, but it shines through in sort of a yellow goldish tint. Slide down just a bit. Here is a fairly large touchpad, and right up here in the corner is a fingerprint reader, so you can log into the machine really quickly with a fingerprint. I've only been using the touchpad for a couple of days. In general, it's very good. Good palm rejection, really good response uh, to touch movements. I need to spend a little more time. Make sure you come by later for the full review to get you know our full assessment of the touchpad and typing experience. Now, you probably can't see it, but up here, there are very fine vents for some speakers, 
and it's engraved right here. I know you can't see that, but the audio is tuned by Harman Kardon. So although this is a thin, really light machine, the audio is pretty good for such a tiny, tiny notebook. I should also probably show you what's happening on the sides of the machine, and uh, this will be quick. So on the left, there is a headphone and microphone jack right there. And on this side of the machine, we have a couple of LED indicator lights and a single USB 3.1 type C port. So unfortunately, no full size USB port, no card reader, nothing like that. If you want to charge the ZenBook 3 and connect other devices, you have to use an included dongle. And here is that dongle. You see, it's not very big, but still kind of annoying to have to use a dongle to use these connectors. Now, I should point out, um, you get another USB 3.1 Type-C connector, an HDMI output, and a full-size USB port here, and you can use all three simultaneously. We still haven't completed our full review of the ZenBook 3. If you want to see all of the benchmark and battery life numbers, you're going to have to come by the site when that review gets posted. But we still want to give you a quick taste of how well the machine performs. So this is the Addo Disk Benchmark running on the machine's Toshiba NVMe PCI Express SSD. Now I hope you can see this on video, but transfer speeds peak at about 1.6 gigabytes per second for reads and 1.35 gigabytes per second for writes. At the larger transfer sizes, things drop off to about 481 megabytes per second to about 620 megabytes per second, but that's still plenty fast. Most people will be happy with the storage performance in this guy. In terms of CPU and GPU performance, the ZenBook 3 does pretty well. So this particular model, as I mentioned, has a Core i7-7500U with Intel HD 620 series graphics. Now in the Cinebench R15 OpenGL benchmark, the machine's going to score right around 45 and a half frames per second. That's in line with HD 520 series graphics from Skylake. Now in the multi-threaded CPU benchmark, the machine scored 307 points. That is slightly better than previous gen CPUs, but not a huge generational leap. Still though, considering how thin and light the machine is, very strong performance. And I don't know if it comes across in the video, but right now the fan is spun up as the machine is running benchmarks. I should note the ZenBook 3 is quiet most of the time, but when it is under load, you can hear its cooling fan spinning. I think we're going to have to stop it there for now. I'm sorry to cut it short, but we hope you've liked this quick look at the ASUS ZenBook 3 and Zen Watch 3. Come by hothardware.com and check out the full reviews once they are live. And of course, subscribe if you've liked this video. Once again, this is Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware. Thanks for stopping by.